measure That don't bring me no pleasure Every day I just wake up Saying I could do better Try Hey, welcome to my channel It's your girl KK with another video That was so cringy, ew I'm gonna cut that out Anyway, hey guys, it's your girl KK Here with another video And today, wait, first before I start I'm sorry, in, in advance I'm so sorry for being absent again it's just been a lot going on a lot of things happened for me and school has been crazy like crazy Whew, a lot of homework a lot of work a lot of everything but i'm here and i'm back and i'm great i'm thriving anyway welcome to my channel welcome to channel with k and today we're going to be doing a how to maintain a 4.0 GPA, 4.0 slash 3.5, if you just want to, you know. So, y'all probably thinking, girl, you need to sit down somewhere. You're only a freshman. How you got a 4.0 GPA? You ain't smarter than nobody else, so shut up. I got a 4.0, and I'm going to tell you how I maintained that since 5th grade through 8th grade, through ninth grade. So, if y'all want to look at it, then click off. Before you click off, it's like though. So, <laughs> anyway, let's just get right into the video. So, I didn't write anything down, but I'm just going to get it from the top of my head. So, I'm going to give y'all study tips after this, and I'm just going to give y'all, like, five main key things on what to do to maintain that whole GPA. So, number one. Number one. This is probably the main one, like, the main one. Do not procrastinate. If y'all know what that means, do not. I'm going to give y'all an example of what I did for the past, for the whole year of 7th grade and 8th grade, basically. Go home. Get your homework out. Do one page of homework. Get tired of it. Get on your phone. Go to Snapchat. Go to Instagram. Do a whole bunch of dust matches. Go to sleep. Wake up. You still have a whole nother class to do homework in. That's called procrastinating. You When you don't finish your work, at the time, you still you go to different stuff and then you come back to it and like you never finish it. Don't do that. That's an example of what not to do. And I'm not gonna do that this year. Your girl gonna be thriving. I'm gonna do my work. <laughs> but don't do that because I know most of y'all do. I know most of y'all just go to the store, go get some Waffle House, and then eat and then go to sleep and don't do your work. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And a way that you cannot procrastinate is by taking breaks. Like, y'all, you can do, like, if you have, let's say you have eight classes of um, homework. So, let's say you can do, I would do for me, because, like, math is easy for me along with writing. Because I like to do writing. I like to write essays and stuff. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I just love writing. So, I would do writing and math homework on this at the same time because it's easy for me. So, do your, your, your two easiest subjects first. So get that out the way. So then you can take a 30 minute break. You know, do whatever you want to do. Make sure you. When I say take a break, I mean take a break. Like 15 minutes. I would recommend 15 minutes, but if you want more, you can do 30 minutes. But just don't do a whole hour because you're going to forget about it and you're not going to want to do it afterwards because you're going to be tired. So I'm just telling you to take a break because if you do all, if you try to do all your homework at that one time, you just gonna get you gonna be over it like me. I was so over it like this was last week. I was so over it because all that homework. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And I didn't do it, and I got a bad grade on it. So that's why you just gotta do it. So that's why I would say, take a 30 minute break. Get to the next two segments. Do a 15 minute break. Next step, do a 30 minute break. So that way you can just have a break between. You won't be like stressing out over it. So give yourself some time, you know, because. If you're doing that, if you're doing all the homework at the same time, you're not going to remember none of it. And you're not going to really try on it. You're just going to write some stuff down. And you're not going to really try. So that's why I just take breaks during it so you won't procrastinate as much. Number two. When you're, like, active, like me, I'm doing volleyball, basketball, drum club, and I'm trying to be in student council. So, like, be in student government, be a vice president, president, all that stuff. So, when you're, like, at different school, try to balance that stuff out. It's hard. It's hard at first because at the beginning of the school, it's going to be very hard. But once you create a schedule and once you stick to that schedule, make sure you stick to it throughout the year, throughout senior year. Because it's going really, to really be effective. 
Because let's say you have school and then basketball practice and then you got to go home. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So make sure after school, make sure you try to do homework in between that section where you don't have practice and, and like where you just come out of school. So that way when you get to practice, you can have practice and everything. And then when you get home, start doing homework like as soon as then. And like, just try not to just go home and, and go to sleep after basketball practice or ball practice or whatever club you have because you're tired. You're going to be tired. Like, every day you're going to be drained. You're going to feel like you just ran five miles after school because it's, it's tiring. Like, mentally, it's tired. You're not going to be physically tired, but you're going to be mentally drained after a long time. So, just make sure you take a rest. Like, no, no, take, don't take no naps. But, like, take a 30-minute rest, like I said, and make sure you just, make sure you get your work done. That's the main thing you have to do. Make sure you get your work done. But also, just create a schedule so you can maintain the things that you're doing in school. Um, Number two those two number three stay out of drama drama so for me i don't have any friends at school so <laughs> i don't have to worry about drama but like for y'all who've been in school who are like at the top of your class at school and like you just know everybody and you around everybody and people come to you when there's drama like when they spill the tea and everything try not to be that person in school just try i don't know try not to be that person that when when you hear somebody's gonna fight somebody you want to say oh i'm gonna bite them too Oh, tell me all the tea. Give them the drama and everything. And then you, when you come home, all you worry about is that drama. Like, you're going to get home from practice or something like that. Texting on Snapchat and Instagram. And then you know, I message and all that stuff. And be like, um, she said this. He said that. It said that. I'm just like, no. It's going to take up your time. Because you're going to be so focused on that other person's drama that you're going to take away from your bag and your career and your education. So, what's the point of camp of Caring about somebody else's drama when you should be worrying about your own self. If you can take care of yourself, why take care of somebody else? Why worry about somebody else? Worry about yourself sis, before you worry about anybody else. Because you won't catch me doing that ever again. Never. Make sure you're not in drama. That's all I have to say. Make sure you're not in drama because it's not going to work out in the long run. You're going to be looking crazy when you get that report card. Your mama going to whip your butt. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't be in drama. Don't do it. Number four. Um, what's another thing? Study. Study. This all I'd say. Just study. Um, let's say the teacher tells you you have to have a you have a test and you don't study. Like the, she says it's a Thursday and she said you have a test on Friday and you don't study for it. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to pass. Like, some people do well without studying. Like, it's amazing how people do well without studying. But other people, you just have to study it. Like, especially when you're not, you don't know what that subject is, you need to study. It's going to help you. And make sure you, have a, you find a fun way of studying. Like, get some note cards and make them colorful, you know, make them pop. Go with a friend, you know, you can play a memory game, you know. Make it fun. Don't make studying like a hassle. Like, you have to just read a boring page. Make it fun, because, like, for me, I'm going to have fun. I mean, me and, my, me and my mama and my brother, we can be having some games, because I'm not going to study for a test and not have fun with it. Y'all can make a song. Y'all can do a rap. You can be like, hey, multiple, like, it's a thing that we did in my um, seventh grade class. Parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, add, subtract, easy as that. Use PEMDAS to get it right. I remember that for the longest time, and it's really helped. So that's how I know PEMDAS to, so, um... There's something about math, you know, so like, you know, make a song, do something. It's, it's fun. It just makes, it makes learning fun. Cause who wants to, who wants to go to school? Nobody. But I'm just saying, like, make it fun. So yeah, study. Five, the last thing, it's probably going to be one of the most important things that's going to help you in life, basically, through school. My school's a college prep school, so it's telling us, like, it's going to, it's preparing us for college, basically. And I'm taking college classes soon after I get into the college program, but don't rely on the teachers to give you all of the answers on the study guide. They're only going to give you half of the answers on the study guide. Like, the study guide is going to be a full paper, but it might be front and back. You're going to say, oh, I'm going to study this, I'm going to get an A on that test, period. You ain't. I'm just saying, it might be different from other people's schools, but for my school, they even told us, they said, do not rely on teachers to give you all the answers. You have to actually dig deep and find the answers for yourself. That's why you study. <laughs> like, they can give you a paper and then we're like, 
study this and you'll and you'll do great on the test. They lying. They lying. You have to actually like the stuff that you see on here, use that to find more stuff about it. Like if they give you a topic and don't really explain it, they just give like a sentence about the topic. Like if they say like science is a key to life or something like that, find out why it is and what's the reason, like who, what, when, where, why, how. They do that to like all of them because you're going to need it. Like you're going to need every single piece of evidence and details and studying tips you can find because they're not going to give you all of it. They're just going to, it's going to be up to you to make a good grade. They're, they're not going to give you all the answers basically. So I think that was it for the tips, and I'm gonna give you, give you that was it for the things. I'm gonna give you some studying tips. So when studying, I already said that like, you could do note cards to make it fun and make it a game. You can also do like colorful writing because like when you're writing just pencil or black pen, it's not really that fun. Like use colorful pens if you have it. If you don't use highlighters, crayons, you know, make it colorful. Make a little game board, make a song. Like, if you're into like music and stuff, like I'll make a song. Cause I remember in fourth grade, my ears itching. I remember in fourth grade, I did a song about pollution, and it was my teacher had recorded it. I wish I had it, but I remember I don't remember the first part. It was like pollution, pollution, something else, something, something. It was so fun. I made it like in the first thirty minutes of class, cause we had to present it, and I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? This stuff is so boring. Like, our whole our whole presentation was boring. We were just gonna read it. And I was like. Your girlfriend wrote a song, and I just remember writing it, but I don't remember the whole words. But I know that I slayed the performance, so I was, I slayed, I slayed, I just remember, I wish I had my team. But that's in Georgia, I'm not gonna go all the way to Georgia to get that video that she probably don't even have. That she probably don't even work at that school anymore. But like, oh, I wish I had it. It was like, it was fine, like, I was fine, I was and the, fun, the thing is, I only wrote it in the first 30 minutes, and it was like a, a pretty lengthy song. And it gave you all the reasons why pollution was bad to the world and everything. So, like, if you can find a way that you like things, like, if you like, let's say if you like sports, like, if you like volleyball, you can, like, do a little play, have a net right there in each court, and you can show, you can show, like, politics, how the Democratic side and the rep representatives, the Democratic and the, what was the other thing? What's the other thing? Democ Republic? <laughs> it's something, you know, the, the two different sides of the um politics. You can say how they're fighting out and who's going to win and all that stuff, you know? You can say that, um, I'm going to use Hillary and Donald Trump, how Hillary did a hit and Donald did a spike. And the fire side is frightful and the fire is so delightful. And since it's no place to go, let us know, let us know, let us know. Anyway, but you know what I meant, like, when I do the volleyball play, it just, it's fun, and it'll make it more interesting. So, I think that's all, that's all I have to say for this. Hope it helps y'all, hope y'all get y'all grades, you know, get your bag. I just hope the best for y'all, and I hope y'all be thriving, hope a lot of things happen for y'all, and I really just hope. That everything goes right in your life. That you don't have to worry about any drama or anything that I had to worry about in my past years. So, that's it. That's all I have to say. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. And comment down below any other videos you want to see from me. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And also, 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 I've been thinking about this for a long time. Comment down below what you want to be called. Like, you know how those YouTubers, like, have the names for the YouTube people? And I know I'm not a big channel right now, but I still want to have a name for y'all. We could be called The K-Loves. <laughs> I don't know. I just want a name so I can say, like, instead of, hey, y'all, it can be, like, hey, booze. <laughs> I don't know. Just think of a name down below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed because... Yeah, <laughs> this is what you're getting. But thank you for watching. I'm just gonna go. Bye. I'm out. 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 Stop.